What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just finished up the, I don't know what we're going to call this, maybe the uh, Popo truck, police truck, probably police truck. I think Popo is disrespecting the police. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show you what we got going on here. We got a 1500 milliamp uh, 3S 100C battery right up under here. And we got that ESC, I think it's ISDT70 right there. And then the fly sky here and the uh, on and off button here and one of these btu uh, servos we're trying out from amazon and uh, we're going to go out here on the backyard track and test it out i was going to go ahead and go to the river but i said there's no sense in going to the river till we make sure the truck's going to hold up to one run so we'll head out that way okay here we go the first run with the police truck or whatever we're going to call it i did notice something once that's coming out here my janky bridge is done broke I gotta get me some chain. I uh, get me some chain like I got over here and uh, fix it. So we, you know, we ain't gonna be able to go across the janky bridge, but that's okay. Uh, let's try this hill over here first. Cassie's bottoming out on this one, so we're probably going to do some shop work. I did mess these windows up, painting these windows. Yeah, we're going to raise those shocks up just a little bit, because that's way too easy to bottom out. Run number one ain't going to go too good, huh? I figured it was too low to start with. So let's go back into the house and raise them shocks up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back out here. We put a pretty good bit in the back. We lifted the back up a whole lot. It almost looks like it's lifted in the rear, but we'll try to get some of that weight going forward. Hitting on the front, anyway. Well, there we go. Yes, sir. Good enough. Good enough. Now let's try these stairs. You see that little glare on the body? I got a shot leaking. I got to iron that out. Well, check this out. There's, uh, none of my trucks has ever climbed this up to this point so easy. Now, right here, every truck has a problem because you got this, you got this huge, huge gap here. As you can see, that board is slumped down, and it's just like you have to bounce it. Up. None of my trucks, out of I, everything I've built or everything or ever RTR, I'm gonna go ahead and try it again, so you, so we can make sure. Usually, I have to turn my wheels one way or the other. I'm just trying to keep it straight right now to just get it to climb. And this is flat out. Just climb it. I'm going to turn my wheels a little bit to get it to grip. There you go. And here we're going to back up. We're going to try to bounce across the top of that. Yes, sir. And we lined up with the janky bridge, but it's out of, out of commission right now. Reverse a little bit. That's just simply amazing. That lets you know that chassis got all that weight forward. Sitting on that. And this ain't even a servo on axle. This is, uh, I've seen some with servos on axles, but this, this is not one of them. <laughs> I really, really like this chassis so far. It's, the only bad thing about the uh, building what they call a comp chassis like this, there's no instructions, bro. You just get the rails and a picture, maybe a, if you're lucky, a picture, maybe a Facebook support group, and you just go from there. Get in no 
poison oak. Oh, wow. it's crawling like a goat. Oh, oh. okay, y'all. Pretty, I'm pretty excited here. The way this truck is doing. This is why everybody needs a couple rocks in your backyard so you can test everything out. I would have got upset if I'd went all the way to the river and the clearance would have been too low on the, on the chassis. see even though we're struggling the truck is stable it's not flipping over it is having to pick your lines of course with them straight axes you have to pick your lines a whole lot more than you do with portals but your center of gravity is so much lower with straight axles oh, this is check that out it's what you call a turtle turnaround And I'll tell you a little bit about these tires. These are actually J-Concept ruptures, but I actually ordered from AliExpress, which lets me think that they're not as good. I've got some of the uh, real, authentic, US-made, well, not US-made, but US-bought ruptures on order. They were supposed to have been here yesterday, so we can do a comparison, but these are, these are pretty good. We've got uh, just soft, I took the foams out of them. The foams, I went to grab the foams and take the foams out of them. And the foams actually broke apart as I was pulling them out. It's almost like they used, like what florists use to put flowers in. It was a hard foam that was very brittle. So I just put some foams that I had. To, I don't know what kind of tires in there. And uh, I got soft foams in front. And they got a little bit stiff foams in the back. No dual stage, just regular foams. And, uh, I think this is going to do pretty good for a budget build. That's uh, poison up back here. I got to get my, get my round up, down, and out, and round here. these tires they're what they are I mean I don't know if I mentioned they wasn't but like $15 for four I was buying some other stuff on there that I usually buy for them and I said just go ahead and throw these in the cart anyway you know, we really wasn't expecting much and I'll be curious to see when I get the uh, ruptures from a main I think they're supposed to be here yesterday I have no idea when they'll be here We'll see if taking that weight off the front affected the uh, climbing ability on the stairs. A little bit, yeah. It's not bite quite as good, so we're going to get those high clearance lengths and get it lowered back down. She will be good to go then. Yes, sir. Do it to it. Baby cake. Yeah, I think I'm gonna love this chassis. This is my second conch chassis. Uh, I've got a 
UGRC Predator chassis on the ghost truck. And you see how awesome it is. It's an awesome chassis, too. I think this is going to be a good chassis, too. Uh, not taking away anything from either one of them. Both of them are capable chassis. And actually, UGRC has got a new chassis out. Y'all probably already saw it by now. It's called the Dirty South. And a lot of my friends are building it. I'm interested in seeing it. I just can't take on too many projects at one time. I'll try to spread the love around. Yeah, this, this is going to be great. I'm tired. You feel the tires are starting to break in a little bit now. It's starting to get a little feathered on the edges. We get us some high clearance links. See, if we get some high clearance links, be able to lower the front end back down. Put some more weight on the back. Be pretty well. I just sat down. I can't ask for nothing better. So that's our first test of the uh, Rad Rocks V2 uh, Enduro chassis. We got straight links on it. Uh, China made or China claim uh, ruptures. And, uh, I think this chassis, if you give it time to get it set up right, it's going to be an awesome, awesome comp chassis. I'm, I'll be taking it down to Glendale soon. Just wanted to come out here and test it first. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, till next time. I love you, but God bless you more.